What are we doing? It's your boy B. Ralph Man back with another reaction slash breakdown. All right, today we're gonna check out Jared Goff's PFF Week 11 grades versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, right? so let's check out the passing and let's see. Drum roll, right? Week 11, Jacksonville Jaguars. They gave his passing grade a 91.8, man. That is extremely high. I actually think that is the highest of all the quarterbacks week 11. Let me make sure of that, though. Yeah. Week 11, okay? Look, 91.8, man. That's every quarterback in the league. Damn, Bo Nix was fifth? Why? Is, look at this. So you got, you got Jared Goff at 91.8, and then you got... His backup at 86.8. That's actually pretty good, bro. But I mean, if you look at the quarters that had the most right drop uh, dropbacks, okay, Cooper Rush, geez, that's horrible, right? These are guys who are playing, you know what I'm saying? More time out there. Golf is right here, bro. Like, that's extremely high. He's better with Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, all these guys, bro. These are all the starting quarterbacks, and Jared Golf is the highest rated passing graded quarterback from pff week 11 all right so let's let's dig in deep because there's certain things i like to look at all right so this is the box score report pressure and depth all right i love this because it it really breaks down like concepts like his passing during pr under pressure his passing depth like is it just short passes is it deep passes downfield i like to look at this so passing pressure when the pocket's kept clean right he has a 98.3 when he's under pressure, he has an 88.4. When he's not blitzed, this is the one we're gonna look at. He is a 92.2 passing grade, bro. He threw four touchdowns and zero interceptions when he's not getting blitzed. That's what we're about to check out. Hey, I'm trying to be an NFL scout. The link to that video will be in the comment section below, all right? Because I have access to this, the pro account, all right? Because I'm trying to be an NFL scout, I pay extra for this and PFF, I can look at plays where Jared Goff is not being blitzed, all right? So what's a non-blitz? A non-blitz is a basic pass rush, all right? When there's four guys coming at the quarterback, that's a basic pass rush. If there's less than four, that's still a pass rush. When you bring an extra guy, if you bring five, if you bring five or more, that's a blitz, all right? So if I clicked on the blitz, then there should be at least five guys going after Jared Goff. Because I want no blitz, because this is how he's been killing teams, bro. Or kill the Jaguars. I want just a basic pass rush. So then you start thinking of, actually, but we got to get to his touchdowns, though. So let's find his touchdowns next. All right, so we got this one coming in the, damn, bro. Coming in the third, the second quarter, I'm sorry. Two minutes, 53 seconds. This is a third and seven on the Jacksonville 27 yard line. The current score is actually 21 to three. He ends up getting six, and that's why it says 27. So let's go ahead and watch this one. So I already broke down some of this in my uh, previous Lions reaction video, but just because I do the weekly quarterback like focus videos, I'm gonna check it out again. So like, we should only see four guys pass rushing. We should not see more than four. All right, so we got one, two, three, four guys on the line, all right, three with their hand in the dirt. All right, third and seven. Boom, stop it right here, here we go. Four. This is a non-blitz. So let's just think, why are the Jacksonville Jaguars not blitzing Jared Goff on a third and seven? Maybe because they've seen the scout report on Jared Goff and understand that he will eat you up, bruh, if you blitz him. I've done several videos on Jared Goff against the blitz. He destroys teams. So they're saying, they're hoping their pass rush can get there. They're hoping that they can have uh, seven in coverage against what five receivers they should be all right right it's a third and seven and if you look it looks like man coverage but this is when st brown just and this is where the concepts come in right level one receiver level two receiver right when it comes to level two that's the depth that they're in balls on this hash so this is going to be the this is going to be the field side this right here's gonna be the boundary side because he's off the line you can't press brown Brown's going to get a free release. He's going to fake out and just eat this man up. And then you got this beautiful concept here. If it's man coverage, well, whoever has the running back, there's basically like a natural pick. This linebacker right here has a running back. This receiver has Brown. But they're because they're crossing, this guy gets caught up, has to go under. Goff is just buying time. 
Oh, I gotta get the I gotta get the end zone view. <laughs> he eating him up, bro. You can't give this man time, bro. Four man pass rush. He clean in the pocket. It's clean. Let me stand back there and deliver it. Let's get the end zone view. A lot of times I don't agree with PFF, bro. When it comes to some of the grades, that's why I started doing this so I can see what they're what they're seeing. But I agree, bro. This is beautiful. Look at this. He's staring boundary side the entire time. But he knows he's got that drag. And then he hits him. Mm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then Brown out there. Give me six. Bro, he walking in there. He walk, He waltzing in there in the zone, bro. Let's check out the next touchdown with no blitz. Here we go. Still no blitz, right? We have a third quarter. 13.05 on the clock. It's second and four. We hit J Jerick off zone. He hit Jay Williams, all right, for 64 yards deep middle. I remember this one, okay? What's the D line showing us? We got one, two, three, four down linemen, okay? Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So how many linebackers we have in the game? It looks like, okay, so this is a base defense. We have four down linemen, three linebackers, one, two, three. Four DBs, right? That's a base defense. When it's a nickel defense, we got an extra cornerback. When it's a dime defense, we got six cornerbacks or six DBs. You feel me? This is a base defense. And then offense is in 11 personnel, under center, single back, right? For uh, Just look at the uh, alignment, right? We have a two by two receiver alignment, okay? And then the ball's on this hash. This is going to be boundary. The opposite is going to be field. And you got your two receivers on the field. We got a stack, right? Which is level one, level two receiver. So let's see. I remember this one. He's going to hit J-Mo. This shit's going to be crazy. No blitz, right? Nah, there's no blitz. It's tough fighting. This is second and four. This is the stress that the damn Detroit Lions pit on teams. Should we blitz them? Or if you blitz them, what are you most likely blitzing? A linebacker. You gotta worry about their, their their tight ends. So they just bring four. Play action, boom, right? You got, we got seven in coverage, right? Damn, bro. <laughs> it's just, when you just really start thinking of all of it, it's like, man, so you got this linebacker on J-Mo, you know that's a wrap all day. Jerry Goff steps up in the pocket and delivers a freaking strike, man. <laughs> But you know what? I got to see his footwork. Goodness gracious. I mean, that's just. Uh, let's, let's, look at, let's look at the end zone view. All right, so let's look at his drop. Hopefully, I can see his feet. Uh, probably, actually, I can't. Not, not this angle. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Ball should be out here. All right, that's his drop. The ball should be out. Okay? So, what golf is really good at, he's tall. He has great presence. If he sees a blitz, he knows to get it out quicker. If he doesn't see a blitz, then he knows to stay calm, stay comfortable. My drop is done, but I can hit deeper routes if I don't feel a blitz coming. And this is a deep ass throw, bro. He steps up and this is at least 20, 30 yards air, right? And the rest is just yak. Let's get, let's get to the next one. Let's get to the next one. I agree with you, PFF. The man balled out, bro. And then he had to hit the Marshawn Lynch on him, bro. I love J-Mo. All right, so this is going to be the last one, supposedly, all right, that has no blitz. But if you notice, Jared Goff actually threw four touchdowns this game, all right? Under the no blitz category, when it comes to my PF, my uh, NFL Pro account, with the no blitz being highlighted and me just checking out the touchdowns that were thrown, there's only three that they have highlighted here. It doesn't have his fourth one, all right? And this is where we start getting to like overlap in two different companies doing things. And that's that's what football is, bro. There's so many different people doing things and setting things up that it's not all accurate. And that's where kind of like I come in kind of like just fish it out and fix it. Because it says, not blitzed. He threw four touchdowns. All right, this is the, he didn't throw a total of eight touchdowns. He has three touchdowns throw when it's a clean pocket. One under pressure. It says four not blitzed. But that's not exactly how it works. So we don't check out the third one he threw to the tight end. All right, let's check it out. All right, you don't have to get too technical or detailed with it. It's just something I like to do and see 
So look, all right, there's, there's five on the line, but we don't want to get four. We got Brown in motion. I love this play, by the way. Boom, we get our four-man pass rush. All right, Goff sees it. He's calm. He's collected. He set them up on this one so bad, bro. <laughs> this was cold, homie. And then he did. He actually added a pump fake in there, came back to the field side, and his tight end is wide open. I mean, you can't give this man time. And that's why I feel like the Detroit Lions, man, is just, they're taking a whole nother step, going a whole nother level. I can't wait to see a team that's like, you know what? We're going to bring a blitz, bro. That's the style of play. We got to get him out the pocket. He's so good at his reads. And this is where the prototypical quarterback comes from, the, the tall, big arm quarterbacks. If you bring blitzes, bro, he's tall enough to see all that. So he's going to understand when there's a blitz coming, that receiver in that area should be open. So we got golf. Actually, see, he's, he's, in, he's in shotgun. Shotgun, he already has. And this is a good place to be in when you get, when you, if someone is to bring a blitz, shotgun, because you already have, you're five yards off the line versus being under center. Right? You're five yards off the line, get the ball. But let's, see, let's, let's see what kind of drop this is. One, two, boom. Two step drop. Ball should be out. Right? But he's not feeling any pressure. He's like, I'm good. Let me look boundary side first. Let me do a little pump fake. Right? My, my, my O line's holding up. Let me go back to the field side. My tight end's open. Let me throw that strike. <laughs> Highest rated PFF quarterback week 11. Hey, if you guys are liking this, please put tape don't lie. The tape don't lie lets me know you guys like this kind of content and I'll keep making it. I love doing it, right? So I gotta look into it. I gotta find the fourth touchdown and see how it was kind of classified. So under the NFL Pro account, this was a touchdown pass that was under a blitz, all right? PFF, on the other hand, says that Goff didn't throw any touchdowns when blitzed, all right? So they got a different definition of what a blitz is, and maybe that's the issue. There's no, like, uh, universal term. Or, or there's no universal definition. My my universal definition, if I look it up on Google. All right, so we look up the difference between pass rush versus blitz. A pass rush refers to the general action of defensive players attempting to pressure the quarterback by rushing towards him, all right? Typically involving the defensive line, while a blitz is, is a specific defensive strategy where a team sends a significant higher number of defenders, often including linebackers, DBs, to aggressively attack the quarterback, creating more immediate pressure, but potentially leaving fewer defenders in coverage, right? And if you look at this, the standard, right? Right here, okay? Typical pass rush usually involves only the defensive lineman rushing the passer. So that's how I was taught it, bro, all right? When you have a base defense is four down linemen, three linebackers. Four down linemen. If you bring one extra guy, that's more than four. That's five. That's the blitz. That's how I look at it, all right? Boy, I love geeking out over this. Y'all don't know how much you're helping me with, like, my homework and studying how to be a scout. Right? Like, I'm loving this because this is the stuff that I have to explain. You feel me? So, let's see. We have currently one, two, three, four down linemen. I consider these guys down linemen because their hands are in the dirt. We have one guy standing up. He can either pass rush or he can play coverage. Actually, or he can blitz. Let's see what he does. If the, if he's, this guy to be five. Boom, bro. One, two, three, four, five. There are five guys attempting to get after the quarterback. And Jarek off, lits him up, bro. Lights him up. It's good to see that because now I know kind of like how the NFL Pro sets it up and I know how PFF sets it up. And there's a little difference. I think PFF is is considering a linebacker possibly bringing the heat. You know, but there's there's five guys going off the jerk off. One, two, three, four, five. Look at this guy right here. Boom, he's engaged. He's engaged, he's engaged, he's engaged, he's engaged. This guy had the running back, it looks like. But now he's playing coverage. 
Oh, you know what? It may have been, ah, if you actually look at it though, and this is going to be tough to categorize. Let's think about this real quick. Now I'm just geeking out, bro. Let's look at this. Let's categorize this. So what if it's like a half-ass blitz, a pass rush, right? So let's look at him right here. Watch him engage and then get off of it. Boom. See, see what he's doing? He is actually not going after the quarterback anymore. He's kind of just setting that edge or being on him. You have one, two, three, four. You actually only do have four guys still trying to get golf. Wow. But they put this one under blitz. All right. This some shit, this some shit. <laughs> but overall, I do agree with the grade, or I do like the grade of a 91.8, uh, all right? And bro, he's 29 attempts, 24 completions, 82%, 412 yards. He was averaging 14.2 yards per attempt, four touchdowns, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me know y'all thoughts. I'll see you in my next video, I'm out. Deuces.